today I will show you how to knit a lacy table runner. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. Raise 97 needles on the front bed, 49 to the left and 48 to the right side of zero. Place the edge springs on the last working needles. Now arrange the needles in one to one division. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 1. Set the back lock to GX. Insert the black strippers and take the waist yarn. I'm using one strand of acrylic yarn. Knit one row. Raise the needles between the edge springs and tap on them to tighten the yarn. On the front lock increase the stitch size to 4 and knit one row to finish the cast on. Now increase the stitch size to 6 or 4 clicks more than the main stitch size. Tap on the needles to tighten the yarn and knit 20 rows with the waist yarn. Tap on the needles when knitting the first few rows. Tell me in the comments what you will use this lace for. Now use the single transferring tool and transfer the stitches according to the diagram. I knitted these 20 rows with a bigger stitch size so now I can easily transfer the stitches. Put the empty needles out of working position. Now lower the front bed and attach weights to the waist yarn. I will attach a total of 4 weights. Raise the front bed and knit 6 rows with the waist yarn. Set the front lock to AX and the stitch size to 5. Now take the main yarn. I'm using the same kind of yarn. Now raise pushers according to the diagram. You can see up close. Knit 3 rows. Move the NX lever to N and knit one row. Move the NX lever to X and knit three rows. Then knit one row with the lock set to N. These are the steps you have to repeat. You have to knit three rows with the lock set to AX and one row with the lock set to N. Now you can see it again without the overlays. For my table runner I knitted a total of 400 rows. Now take the waist yarn and knit 20 rows. Take an empty eyelet or leave all eyelets in the color changer. Take off the weights and slide the lock to remove the knitted piece from the machine. Now it should look like this. You have to finish both ends and iron the piece.
I will show you how I finish the ends of my table runner. Tell me in the comments if you know a better way to do it. With the latch tool I'm taking the first two loops from the wrong side. Now I'm sliding both loops behind the latch and I'm inserting a string of the same color yarn into the hook. Now I will take the next loop and do the same. Make sure to adjust the tension of the loops according to the piece. Finally, I will pull the yarn through the last loop. Now you can see what it will look like. I think the edge is looking pretty good for my little experience. At this point you have to check for any dropped stitches. As you can see in the video I have missed two stitches. At this point it's very easy to fix them. And that's the final result. Don't forget to send me pictures of your projects on my Facebook page. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video.